Hey, welcome Droid Guru fans. I'm your host Droid Guru and in this episode uh, we're going to talk to you about the droidguru.net platform. We're going to show you a demo how to get started with it and also first we got to tell you what the Droid Guru platform is. So if you don't already know, the droidguru.net platform, it's an online platform that allows you to remotely control any robot anywhere in the world from your web browser. So there's two parts to it. You could be either a pilot or you could be either a host. So if you're a pilot, you go to the droidguru.net website, uh, you select a robot you want to connect to, and you just use the online controls to pilot that robot. Now, the other part is if you have a robot and you want to connect it to our platform for other people to use, you just need a smartphone with the droidguru.net net app which you can get from the website uh, from the Google Play Store and you need internet connectivity and your robot has to be either USB, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connectivity and then you can put it on our platform. And another cool thing you can do is if you want to charge people to um, money to use your platform you can do that too and get like uh, profits from uh, providing your robot as a service. All right, so now let's get into our demo. So this little demo is just like getting started. It'll show you how to like actually go to the website, connect to a robot, and manually control a robot from your web browsers. Okay, so now I've entered droidguru.net into my browser and it's taking me to the uh, pilot interface page. So let's get an introduction to the page here. So at the top, we have our banner with our icon. And if you want to get the app as a host from Android Play Store, you can click on the uh, Play Store uh, icon there. And then we have our uh, menu options here, my account, sign in, log out, and then the credits um, indicator showing how much credits you have if you have an account. And like I said, an account isn't required, but if you want to deal with buying credits or cashing in credits as a host, you'll need an account. All right, so the rest of the user interface, on the left-hand side here, we have the robot camera view. And then on the right-hand side, we have the room camera view. So the room camera is the camera that's on the smartphone of the host. Uh, the robot camera is optional, so there may or may not be a robot camera, but there should always be a room camera. And you can change the orientation of the image of a room camera. All right, and then in the center here is our command console. So this has our virtual joystick used for controlling the robot. Then we have a progress bar at the top uh, used for things like indicating how much time is remaining in piloting a robot. Uh, so you can just move the joystick around when it becomes activated, and it's only activated when you connect. And then we have some buttons here, some sliders and switches. And then we have some indicators here, the angle of your joystick, uh, the power setting, and uh, if the robot has sensors, those will appear here. Once you click the sensor data switch, it'll start uh, sending sensor data. Then over here, the command log, this is just gives you status about um, your status. So it either lets you know if you're logged in, when you're logged out, if there are any error messages, they'll appear here, and any other like uh, messages that you will receive from the platform. And we can clear that out with the little garbage icon there. All right, and here on the other side, the games panel, we have the join room panel, room members and game queue. So the join room, that'll populate with all the rooms um, that are available once you log in. And then once you select a room, the room members panel will show you all the robots that are currently in that room. So those are the robots you have to choose from. And then once you choose a robot, it'll show up in the game queue, showing which robot you're queued up, uh, you're connected to. All right, so that's the basic layout of the user interface for the pilot uh, mode. All right, so now let's try logging in. So like I said, if you have an account, you enter your username and password, click the login. Otherwise, you can register and set up an account, or you can just log in as a guest, which means you don't really need an account or login or password or username. All right, and once we log in, we're connected to the platform. We have our uh, command log status letting us know we're logged in. And then here is our join room panel. It's populated with all the rooms currently available. And then these are some little pop-ups that uh, guide you through each step of um, how to like start the process. And then once we can see the room members, uh, so we have joined the wheels room and now we could see all the members in that room. So this one particularly has one robot in there, but there are more. Uh, it gives you information about the robot, how much it costs. This one's free. Uh, the name of the robot, the name of the host and things like that. So once we're ready to 
connect to a robot. We click on its icon. We get a little progress countdown progress bar. So that gives us like 30 seconds before everything becomes activated. So it gives you time to prepare and get ready to pilot the robot. And then once it connects, you get the images from the robot camera. So in this case, we have a room camera. And as always, we should have a robot. Uh, I mean, uh, we have a room camera, as always. And we should also, optionally, we have a robot camera. So as you move the robot, you can... Use the virtual joystick now that's activated. Move the robot left, right. Moving the joystick up makes it go forward. Moving it down makes it go backwards. And there could be some intermediate uh, steps there. And once I set, this robot was only set to um, last for 40 seconds, but the host can set it for seconds, minutes, hours, or days, or whatever. But if we want to connect again, since we're already in a room, we just go back to the room members, click on that robot, to connect to it again. Now, if there's other people waiting in line, you may be in a queue, and the command log will show you like how long you have to wait. All right, so we're connected again, and now we get our progress bar. And then if there are any other features of this robot, we can activate them with the switches, uh, the sliders, or the ABC buttons. In this particular case, this robot doesn't use those features, but uh, a robot could have additional like um, functionality that you can activate with the uh, other controls. But right now, we're just using our um, virtual joystick to pilot it, and we can see the robot view from the robot camera, and then the room view uh, for the room from the room camera. And once again, it times out after the certain amount of time that's set by the host. And then um, once it does that, you can log out and disconnect from the platform totally. Okay, Joy Guru fans, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, check out our other YouTube videos, and if you have a cool robot project you want us to know about, just let us know and we'll probably put it on our video.